Rupa Kumari, Samarpan Sanctuary Jew. Haribo. <coughs> All right. So why are we gathered here today? We're trying to approach Krishna by his own style of life, his own style of living. Singing together, feasting together, and hearing about his pastimes together. We should think the same time Krishna likes to go and with his family, he listens to stories of his activities and red running the pastimes sometimes they also tell stories of jagannath every day in the evening time krishna will sit with his family and hear harikata so harikata is also nitya siddha eternally perfect eternally present kirtan harikata mahaprasad all these activities are eternal so we approach krishna through these eternal activities daily activities so Thank you all for coming for this weekend. This weekend we're just going to be approaching Krishna through the method that he has taught us, through his messengers, through Mahaprabhu, through his incarnation, through all the devotees. Harikata, Kirtan, Mahaprasad. <clears throat> but ultimately, Harikata, Nam, Kirtan are most important. Because without that we can become again engrossed in materialistic activities. So everything is like the container for Harikata. The festival, the kirtan, the prasad, it's all the vessel to create space for Harikata. So we're fe celebrating this Rathiyatra pastime this weekend, which is brought around the whole world by Shilesi Bhaktivinoda Swami Prabhupada. Especially here in the Northeast, it's like every weekend is Rathiyatra. They do the festival of India, how many times in the summer, in the year? Something like 25 Rathiyatra festivals around the country. In Jagannath Puri, they would complain, oh, why are they doing it on different days? Because we're not just doing it in one place, we're doing it everywhere. And so you have to give people time to go here and there to visit all the festivals said in Sastra that Krishna appears in every universe at every millisecond. So what is Krishna's appearance? It's eternal. So who is to say when is Rathiyatra? There's always Rathiyatra. Right now in millions of universes, Rathiyatra is going on right now. <laughs> at every moment, God is appearing and appearing and appearing and performing his pastimes. What is the speciality of Lord Jagannath? Right? What are the secrets of his pastimes? So therefore, we'll hear a little bit tonight. Then we're all going to go back to the ashram, take rest, and in the morning have our festival very nicely. We're going to bring Jagannath and perform Rathiyatra and hear about the speciality of that tomorrow from Maharaj and from other devotees. <clears throat> so I'm not going to tell the main pastime because we're going to hear about that tomorrow. I just want to set the scene a little bit and tell some of the specialities that are not as often discussed. And I want to start with this idea of a meditation on... Meditations on love, you could say. Meditations on divine love. It's the binding force that holds everything together. Another term for love is rasa. Rasa is like the manifestations of love how it appears in different features and moods. The dancing play of love, that is rasa. How love moves, the motions of love, that is rasa. And so that appears in many flavors. But how do we see God? We see him through the ears by hearing about him. Because otherwise we are all confused. What is God? Who is God? Is there a God? But if we hear with faith, then we can actually see him. We think, oh, we're just theoretically seeing him. No, we can actually see him. If we hear purely from pure kata, that is Krishna in truth, but also we will see him in truth in the heart. Parikshit Maharaj heard properly for a few days only, he saw Krishna. 
before Krishna appeared in the womb to protect him when he was in a dangerous situation, but then he didn't really see him. He really see, saw him through Harikata. And then that enabled him to see him directly in his heart and understand him. Many demons saw Krishna, but they didn't understand him, therefore they were against. But through Harikata, you can not only see him, but you can understand him and learn to love him. So Jagannath, Mahaprabhu, Krishna, they're all the same God, but they're all the different manifestations according to rasa, the love in action, the mood of love in its play, in its dance. Rasa dance, it's like the same meaning, same word. Rasa and dance. Rasa means the dance of love. So what is rasa? The dance of love. How Madhya Shoda, the Nanda Baba, how they're all dancing. In Braj it said, every step is a dance. Why? Because everyone has pure love. And so all of their activities is the dance of love, that is rasa. So how do you dance? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> you dance, even dance, the dance arts are based on rasa, rasa sastra, especially shringa rasa. So now meditations on love, there are different flavors of love, that is rasa. So what is the flavor of love that is Lord Jagannath's appearance? You should think all the incarnations of the Lord are all manifestations of his love and motion and action, rasa. There are five primary rasas. As we approach God, as we come closer to God, our relation becomes more and more intimate. Therefore, when we have meditations on love, we should understand the gradations of love, blossoming in love for God, and the developing stages of love for God. And how we can approach Him in the highest form of love, or the love of His own beloveds. Generally, we think of love in this world based on what we know what we've learned from childhood with our parents, with friends. But the original mellow of love is the romantic love. Love between Shakti Shakti Mahan. That dynamic interplay of, you know, the, what we call the divine couple means two eternally inseparable parts they cannot be brought apart and if they are coming ever apart then they're brought back together by the force of their love so that's the original mellow of love but generally we think of love in terms of this world we can't most religions they have they don't touch upon what does it mean to have like we talk about love of god but what about god's own love and his own relatives how is the nature of their love what is the nature of God's own love with His eternal family? We don't often talk about that, but we should understand that everything in this world is just... To help us understand that nature of His love, it's like a dim reflection, inverted or perverted. But really, what are we aspiring to is understand His love. That's called Adi Ras, the original mellow. Janma Dasya Yataha first aphorism of Vedanta Sutra generally is understood, oh, where is everything coming from? What is the birth of creation? The birth of creation is the love of God. That is Jagannath. Janma Adi Asya. There is no Janma without love. Where is birth without love? Or desire. Another name for love means attraction. And what is the original attraction? Love for God. Attraction between God and His beloveds. That is Janma Adi, original rasa. Adi, from where does everything begin? It begins from love and it goes to love. Christ said, I am the Alpha and the Omega. That means I am love. God is love and love is God. But what is its developmenting stage? And how do we approach it? We have to understand the distinction between love of matter in this world and love for God. And understand that pure love is beyond this world. But yet, Jagannath, who is Jagannath? The Lord of the universe. That is God. So we should understand Jagannath is none other than Krishna. And 
as we've been hearing recently, Krishna in his highest feature, God in his highest feature is, has no obligation but love. No responsibility but love. Many forms of God are there, but they have many responsibilities. But Krishna has no responsibility, only love, only rasa. With all his associates, he's only performing rasa. What is rasa? The action or the motion of love. Ratyatra, therefore, is rasa yatra. What is ratyatra? Rasa yatra. And what is ratyatra? Radha yatra. And what is Radha Yatra? Radha Vijaya. Radha Jaya Jaya Madhava Daite Gokula Taruni Mandala Maite. That is Radha Yatra. Radha Jaya Jaya Madhava Daite. Oh, victory to Radharani, the beloved of Madhav. What is Madhav? Madhav is a name for Jagannath. Madhava. This is Jagannath Baladev Subhadra. Nila Madhav is where Jagannath came from. Maharaj Indra Dumna, great king, was thinking. Where is their place for God in this world? Everyone is making their own home, their own house, their own facility, food for themselves, work for themselves. But where is the place for God in this world? He didn't find anything, but he had love for God and he prayed to God. Therefore, the Lord appeared in his dream as Nila Madhava. Beautiful Sham Varna, like a dark rain cloud. Madhava, Madhava, Masubhadra. Madhava and Jagannath and Baladev. Three in one, that is Madhava. So Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhava Daite. Oh, all glorious Radharani, victory to her who has conquered Madhava and brought them to Braj, to the shelter of her love. Therefore, Rati Yatra is Radha Yatra and Rasa Yatra. This is her festival. So how do we understand it as her festival? Therefore, we have to understand Mahaprabhu. To understand Ratyatra, you must understand Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu is appearing in this world. This is also one form of Ratyatra. Why he's coming, traveling to this world, from the spiritual world, on the chariot of Radharani's love. What is the chariot? Chariot is made of the love of the gopis. When Jagannath comes, who is pulling the chariot? Who is creating the chariot? This is all Shmati Radhika and her beloveds. So how is Mahaprabhu appearing? Radha Bhava Dyuti, with the mood and the complexion of Radharani. So Mahaprabhu's very body, that is the chariot that he is coming on. Right? Mahaprabhu appears, Krishna, but with the mood of Radharani, the complexion of Radharani, he appears to understand her love. So Jagannath and Mahaprabhu, they are both Krishna in search of understanding his beloved's pure love. How glorious it is. Therefore, Krishna was thinking in eternal braj. How is my Srimati Radhika's love so great? I am Bhagavan, God, but even I cannot fathom the extent of her love. It's described that the universe, Jagannath, Lord of the universe, what does that mean? Radhanath. Jagannath is Radhanath. Because everything there is, it's just the expansion of Shrimati Radhika's love for Krishna. Shakti Parinam Vlad. Everything is only expansion of the love of Radha for Krishna. Bhagavan is, it's described, Parabrahma does not change, does not transform. God is absolute. But his love, potency, Shrimati Radhika, is always expanding in ever fresh ways in order to please and serve him. Therefore it said, whatever is beautiful in this world, Jagannath, the Lord of the universe, that is his beauty. Whatever is beautiful in this world, that is the beauty of Krishna. And how can you understand the beauty of Krishna? You must approach Radha, his love. And understand that Radharani is painting the universe with the love of her heart for Krishna. Therefore all attraction, all love of this world is simply a reflection of the pure original attraction of Radha and Krishna. Therefore, every morning when we do archan, what do we do? Bhuta Shuddhi, purification of the internal state, knowing I am a servant of God, I am not man or woman of this body. And then what do we pray? May my heart flow to you like a river to the ocean. And like a young boy and a love, young girl have love for each other, may I have that like, love for you. Because that is the original mellow, Adiras. So who is Jagannath? Is Radhanath the beloved of Srimati Radhika. 
and she is Krishna Nath, the Lord of Krishna. She owns Krishna. She has full possession of Krishna. Therefore, if we want to approach Krishna, how do we approach Krishna? Taking shelter of Srimati Radhika. Therefore, what do we pray to Krishna? Shyama Sundara Shikanda Shekara Shikanda Shekara, that crown Jagannath wears. Shyama Sundara Shikanda Shekara. Oh, Shyama Sundar, what do I ask for you? Radhika Rasika Mam Kripanidi Swapriya Charanam Kinkarim Guru. Make me a maid servant of the lotus feet of your beloved Srimati Radhika. Otherwise, I cannot understand your love. That is Jagannath. So Mahaprabhu was thinking, what is the nature of Radhika's love? What is the glory of her love? And what is that sweetness in me that only she can experience? In this world, Srila Prabhupada established Ratyatra. Why? Nirvasesa Shunyavadi Paschatya Desatarine. Srila Prabhupada established Ratyatra because this is the medicine to defeat impersonalism and voidism. Nirvasesha Shunyavad. How do you defeat it? By the power of love. Whose love? Jagannath. How is Jagannath's love? Love for Radha and Krishna. Showing us the way. Why do we say following the footsteps? How do you follow the footsteps of God? Radhyatra. And what are the footsteps of God he's teaching us to follow? The footsteps of serving the beloved. How to please the heart of the beloved. Why is Jagannath coming back to Braj? Only because the love of Srimati Radhika. When the gopis and Radhika, they came to Kurukshetra during the solar eclipse. Radharani told Krishna, why are you staying here? Please come to Vrindavan. I know you're not happy here. In life, we tend to go far away from love when ambition, worldly desire, conquest. But what is, then we go away from love. So Radharani said, come back to Vrindavan. Come back to Vrindavan where you have no obligation but the service of love. To serve love. That is your only responsibility. That's why we are reading in Madhuri Kadambini. Who is Krishna? Krishna is the prince in Braj, who has no responsibilities. His only responsibility is service to love. Wherever he goes, Krishna is only doing ras. What is ras? The dance of the play of love. Nothing else. But then in life, we go far away. We take up so many obligations, we go far away from love. But if we have pure love, then whatever we do is simply for that love. That is ras. Every action. That's why Krishna said, Yad karosi yad asnas, yad tuhosi ras, yad yad tapasyasi kunte atat kurusva madarpanam. Whatever you do, do it for me. Then when you are walking or sleeping or talking or eating or doing anything, any work, if it is with love for me, then that is bhakti. What is bhakti? Merely developing of pure love for God, flowing of the river to the ocean. So Jagannath is teaching us that, follow my footsteps. That is Ratyatra. People say, how to follow God? How do you follow God? Ratyatra means follow first Guru. Anugatya means following under guidance. Anukulena Krishna Anushilanam. How do we become Krishna Anushilanam? Purely following God. Krishna Anushilanam means Anugatya, guidance of Guru. Who is real Guru? Radha. In our line, Shmati Radhika, she is the highest Guru. She is even Krishna's Guru. In our parampara, our lineage, Krishna is Guru, then Brahma, right? Then Nara, Vyas. But if we look at those four personalities, Krishna says, Radhika Amar Guru. Radhika is my Guru. Brahma, he became the mountain on top which Radhika played and all her foot dust came on her head. Who is Narad Muni? He came when Radharani was born and fell at her feet. And she appeared and blessed him and then he became a sadhaka practicing by a kund, Narad kund for many years until, Haribo, until he became her maidservant. Narad kund. Then he became Narad gopi. Haribo. So look, Krishna says, Radhika is my guru. Brahma appears as the hills on which she plays so that her foot dust comes under his head. Brahma said, Sasti Varsa Sahasrani, for 60,000 years I meditated on the glories of Radharani. I still couldn't understand, so I became a mountain so that her foot dust would be on my head. 
And then maybe my mind would become purified, I would understand her glory. Then his son, Narad Muni, when she appeared, he took shelter where she appeared, fell at her feet and said, please give me your darshan. She gave him darshan. He said, please tell me what to do. She said, do sadhana by Manasi Ganga, Kusum Sarovar, near Kusum Sarovar, Narad Kund. He did tapasya there for a long time. Then he became Narad Gopi. Therefore, Narad Rishi is our guru because he can serve in all manners. He serves as Madhu Mangal and he also serves as Narad, Go Narad Gopi. Then Vyas was confused. He wrote so many things. Veda, Upanishad, Madhavada, this duty, that duty, this duty, that duty, that duty. But he forgot the real duty, the duty of love. If you have love, everything is informed by that love. If you don't have love, everything is dry like a desert. No rasa. Without love, there's no relationship in this world. Everything is dry. That's original chaos, right? No form, no relationship, no sambandha. But how does Prabhupada defeat that? The Ratyatra. The Ratyatra is Prabhupada's weapon against Nirvasa Shunyavad. Understand the form of love. That is Jagannath. Premai Kalevara. The melted form of the Lord's love. Showing his love for Radharani, Radhanath. Then that is the form of love that destroys atheism, impersonalism. Voidism. Why? Well, atheism is very good when you're suffering and life is tormenting you. But as soon as you start to see, how do you understand the love of God? Seeing those who have love of God. Otherwise, rather than he said, you can't understand love. By many scholars are there trying to, you know, understand what is love, what is the nature of love, who has love, is God love, this and that and the other. The more you try to analyze it, the more it disappears. You can't understand it. You have to observe it. This is what Radharani says. When Krishna came to Radharani criticizing himself, she said, you want to understand love? Stay by me and don't leave. Observe it. If we want to understand love, pure love, love of God, then you need Guru and you take shelter of Guru who has that pure love, who has witnessed and lives that pure love, and then in their guidance, after a long time, when I went to India, they said, don't come for six months, stay for 16 years. Mm -hmm. Not six months. Why six months, one month, two weeks, one week, five, six days? You're not going to learn anything. Radharani told Krishna as a heavenly damsel, sit by me and learn. Upanishad, sit and learn what is love by observation. How does love act? In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, how does a saintly person, Arjuna asks, how does a saintly person walk? How does a saintly person talk? How do they move about? How do they live? He says, oh, you want to know? Go to Braj, follow the Braj gopis. Then you'll learn how they walk, how they talk, how they move. Why? So a sadhu krityam, they are the real sadhus. Anyone following in their footsteps with love and respect for them, they are sadhus. So how do we follow the Braj gopis? Follow those Braj bhaktas. Braj anuragi tadanugami. Follow those who have anurag, pure love. Not intellectually, but realized. Because they're following the disciplic succession of Brajabhaktas. Krishna, disciple of Radharani. Brahma, grand disciple of Radharani. Narad Muni, great grand disciple. Vyas, great, great, great grand disciple. How? Vyas wrote so many books about duty, this and that, rules and regulation, this God, that God. But he was still confused in his heart. Why intellectual knowledge? We think as long as we're famous and everything is going good, we think everything is good. But really, when we go to bed at night and we think, why am I doing all of this maya nonsense? Why am I not just serving God and serving love? And then he prayed and Narada Muni came and said, why haven't you spoken about Krishna? No, Krishna. Krishna Anushilanam. Follow Radharani. That is Krishna Anushilanam. You've spoken about God, this God, that, this, that, Purush, 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 Purush. No Prakriti. Only Maya Prakriti, no Para Prakriti. And you've spoken here, Shakti, here, Shakti, but not understanding what is the divine couple. That is in the Srimad Bhagavatam. What is Srimad Bhagavatam? Bhakti Vedanta. Therefore, Swami Prabhupada has the name Bhakti Vedanta. What is the highest end of all knowledge? Bhakti. And what is that Bhakti? Srimati Radhika and Krishna serving her. That is Bhaktivedanta. The end of all knowledge is Krishna, the Supreme God, serving the Supreme Goddess. That is Bhaktivedanta. 
Prem Vivarta means the final culmination of love is when God takes on the mood of surrender, falls at the feet of Radharani, says, Smara Ghalla Kandanam, Mama Sirasi Mandanam, Dehi Pada Pallavamadharam. When Jagannath is going to the cart, his turban is always falling down, falling down. Where? At the feet of Shmati Radhika. Oh, Radharani. And also doing Chamara to Radharani. <laughs> Chamara to Radharani. Why, oh Radhe, why have I gone so far away? This dharma, that dharma, this dharma. Krishna said, Sarva dharman prityaja. The gopis say, you're telling others, you're not following yourself. Sarva dharman prityaja. Give it all up. Come to Braj. Serve in Braj. When Krishna was nine years old in Braj, Narad Muni came to test him. Oh Krishna, come, save the world. Save the world. And he went far away and was gone for a long time. And all the Prajabhasis were weeping as if they were going to die. Only holding on to their life for one reason. If I give up my life, Krishna will be sad. He will think, oh, alas. So therefore, they kept their life. But Radharani, it was like every moment was her last breath. Every moment was her last breath and she was laying at Uddhava Keri, where when Krishna left, they tried to stop the chariot. This is the first Rathiyatra. Many Rathiyatras. Krishna going with Akrura. Oh. Going with Akrura. Not Akrura, Krura. Not non-cruel, cruel. In this world, everything is, like they say, Kichu Michu Bhav, looks good from the outside. People show their love for others, but inside only selfishness. Very rare to find pure love. Akrura said, come, come. The Brajabhasi said, no, you are very cruel. Stealing away our Krishna. For such a long time Krishna was gone. Radharani was, one time finally she was saying, I cannot tolerate this separation anymore. I will give up my life. When I give up my life, may all my life heirs go to Krishna. May all the flame and heat in my body be a lamp for Krishna. May all the earth in my body be reborn and take birth as a flower to be offered to Krishna. May everything in my, the water be purified, be taken by the sun and then bathe Krishna when he is hot. May everything be for Krishna. So when we are doing Arati, what are we doing? In the mood of Radharani, serving Krishna. Whatever our body is made of, how can we offer that to God? Whatever air is in my body, may it be like the chamara fanning my beloved. Whatever fire is in my body, let it be like the lamp of love offering to Krishna. Whatever water is in my body, let it be purified and be like the conch shell of water bathing Krishna. Whatever I am, let it be of his service. May I, my earth and my body go to the earth and be reborn as flowers that can be offered at his lotus feet. This is the mood of Radharani that we try to serve under. So how do we understand that? The divine couple, what is Prem? And Krishna came simply to experience that Prem. Prem Ras Niryas Kurite Swadan Raga Marga Bhakti Loke Kurite Pracharan. To taste that Prem Ras, pure love. He came as Mahaprabhu, as Radha, with her mood, trying to understand why, how will I understand my beloved? Only through her, her eyes. As she was separated from me for a long time, I will also accept that separation from myself with her eyes of love. Jagannath's eyes. What are the, whose eyes are Jagannath's eyes? Oh, the eyes of love, eyes of Radha, searching for Krishna. That is Mahaprabhu's eyes. Who is Mahaprabhu? Where is Radha? No, Radha, where is Krishna? This is Prem Vivarta. Krishna searching for Radha, Radha searching for Krishna. Prem Vivarta. Krishna as Radha searching for Krishna. Right? And then Mahaprabhu as Radha searching for Krishna. Mahaprabhu is Radharani searching for Krishna. But he is Krishna. Why? How is Shmati Radhika's love? Therefore, during the Ratiyatra, what is happening? Same time, Krishna and Krishna as Radharani. So therefore, Rathyatra is one of the highest pastimes with Mahaprabhu. Because Mahaprabhu is Krishna with the mood of Radha. And who is Jagannath? Krishna with the love of Radha melted in that form. Why? 
when Radharani was going to give up her life, that final moment Krishna returned to Braj. And when they saw each other eye to eye, then he became Jagannath. So who is Jagannath? When Jagannath appeared in that form, Narad Muni appeared and said, Oh Krishna, I took you away from Braj. Now you have returned to Braj. Please always stay in this form with Braj. Meeting and separation in that moment combined. That is the divine couple. The moment of reunion. And so therefore we're also praying, how can our souls be united with God? Bhakti Yoga. The union of the soul with God. Therefore we are Radha Paksha, followers of Srimati Radha Rani. Our whole parampara, Radha Paksha. Krishna, Brahma, Narad, Vyas, all the way down the line. Following the divine love of the eternal beloveds of the Lord. So when Jagannath came, when Krishna came and became Jagannath, then Narad said, oh, please always stay in this form. Because this is very beneficial to the world. Whether they understand it or not, if they serve in Rathiyatra, They'll make so much Sukriti, which means spiritual merit developing. Why? At that moment, that Sukriti is bringing, pulling Krishna back to Braj, knowingly or unknowingly, they're themselves being pulled to Braj. Why? Following the footsteps of the Lord. Walking with Him on His path. Following Guru. Krishna is also following Guru. Why? Radhika Prem Guru. First, Baladev goes. Showing the way. Then, Baladeva is Guru, Subhadra, Bhakti Devi herself. So therefore, Guru awakens our Bhakti and says, follow this path of Bhakti. How do we follow the path of Bhakti? Follow the footsteps of Subhadra Devi, the Lord's eternal potency, that she can teach you how to love Krishna. So therefore, Guru goes first, Baladeva, then Bhakti Devi comes, Subhadra, then Krishna comes. And we all pull all of them, Jagannath, Baladeva, Subhadra. And in this way we can go to Braj. Then when Krishna comes to Braj, again, after some time they think this world is full of death and darkness. Rather than you told Krishna, I, I said, don't bring me to this world. And you brought me and then you left me and I was suffering for so long without you. Look what happened. When Krishna wanted to come to this world, he said, Rather, will you come? She said, no, I don't want to come. Why? The world of death. World of suffering and pain. Why will I come to this world? Why should I come to this world? He said, please come, please come, please come. He said, okay, I'll come if Jamuna comes, I'll come if Govardhan comes, I'll come if the four, 12 force of Vrindavan comes. Will you stay there? Krishna's silent. <laughs> <laughs> but they came, but then she said, look, nine, ten years, then you left me for a hundred years. Then when you finally came back, enough of this world. We think we're going to change the world. You can't change the world. Why? Because all of... Whoever in this world, cruel hearted, Akrura followers. Everyone is followers of Akrura. Externally very nice and sweet and soft, inside poison. No pure love. So no need this world. On one condition can we stay in this world. Like Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada said, I had never gone to Calcutta. First temple established in Calcutta. Kokshalas Prabhupada Jumar said, don't go to Calcutta, Sangsar, world of Maya. So he said, I never went to Calcutta. Wherever I went was Braj. Why? Wherever I went, I was surrounded by Brajabhasis, Vaishnavas. Wherever I went, I was with devotees who were lovers of Radha Krishna. So I never went outside. So wherever we are, we arrange Goshti, Bhakta Brinda. Then we are in Brindavan. Gorda Bhakta Brinda, then we are in Brindavan. No Gorda Bhakta Brinda, no Brindavan. Right now, many people in Vrindavan, no Gaurabhaktas, not Vrindavan, only Maya. We can be in the Dham, but not be in the Dham, or we can be outside of the Dham and be in the Dham. Outside the Dham, with devotees, we're in the Dham. Inside the Dham, no devotees, we're not in the Dham. Nartan Das Thakur said, what is the point of going far away to a holy place to do pilgrimage if you don't meet the devotees who love God? There's no point. Stay where you are and find devotees, or go and find devotees. Without devotees, it's all Maya. One more Rathiyatra. Every day there's a Rathiyatra. Where? Radharani going to Nanda Bhavan to cook. Every day Rathiyatra. And for that Rathiyatra, many elephants, low water, on the ground to cool it. All the gopis put flower petals. 
And every day Radharani goes to Varshana. From Varshana to Nandagram. Or from Java to Nandagram where Krishna and she cooks for Krishna. And then every day she comes back. That is Rathyatra. So there are many Rathyatras. South India they perform Rathyatra in different temples. But this is showing us how to follow the footsteps of Guru and how to follow the footsteps of Bhagavan. Why? How to follow? Anurag. Anugatya, Anurag. Same thing. If you have love, you take shelter, follow under guidance with that mood of pure love, following those who have that pure love. Then you can understand what is the difference between love and material religiosity. Dharma. I am religious. What is your religion? Only politics, only conquering, only control. These people will follow me and my God and worship me. That is not religion. Therefore, Krishna said, give this false religion up. Na dharmam, na dharmam. Don't follow material religiosity or irreligiosity. Either side has benefit. War, peace, it's all maya. Follow love for God. How to develop that prem? Therefore, there's a process of love. Therefore, we take shelter of Vaishnavas and learn from them. Rather than he said, by observation, you can learn what is prem. Therefore, sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha, sarva sastri koi, lava matra sadhu sangha, sarva siddhi hoi. Sadhu sangha. Indra Dhanda Maharaj, he arranged for sadhu sangha. Why? Jagannath temple, wherever God is present, devotees will come. Then other people can get devotee association. That's why there's temples of God. Why? Not you can go find God, so you can go find the devotees. God is everywhere. So why do you need a temple? People say, I don't need the church because God is everywhere. Yes, you don't need to find God in the church. You need to find the devotees in the church. That's where the devotees congregate. Find the devotees, then find God. God is everywhere. He's in your heart. He's outside. He's here. He's there. Prahlad Maharaj knew God was everywhere. Hiranyakashipu, God was everywhere for him. God was everywhere for Prahlad. What was the difference? Prahlad could see him everywhere. And by being with Prahlad, you could come into contact with him. Therefore, what is the message of Rathyatra? Rathyatra is so great because when you go to Rathyatra, all the devotees will be there. Therefore, Gora Bhakta Vrinda, that's the most important part of the Panchatattva Mantra. Gora Bhakta Vrinda, where are the devotees? I'll follow them. We don't try to follow Radha Krishna, we try to follow the followers of Radha Krishna, the lovers of God. That's why we go to the church, that's why we go to the temple. Find the devotees who have pure love for God and spend time with them. So there's so many pastimes of Rathyatra, so many secrets of Rathyatra. Jagannath appeared in this form as he liked. Why? In this form, Jagannath chose to came. We were watching recently a Gorgavindamar's lecture. And he said, someone was complaining, this problem, that problem, the society, this problem, Prabhupada's gone, now there's this, now there's that. Gorgavindamar's cut him off. So there's no problem. There's no problem. There's no problem. The only problem is in your mind. There's no conflict. Only conflict is in your mind. Therefore, how to rid yourself of the conflict of the mind? Take shelter of Guru and Vaishnav and follow their footsteps. That is Rathyatra. Following the footsteps of the Vaishnavs, that is Rathyatra. First Guru, Gauranga. Right? Follow Mahaprabhu. Follow the devotees. Then you can find Krishna. Otherwise, you'll never find Krishna. Why? Krishna is with Radharani. You want to find Krishna? Find Radharani. How do you find Radharani? Find her gopis. Find the Sakis. Want to find the Sakis? Find the devotees who are following their footsteps in this world. Therefore, Radha Dasim is not far away. People think, oh, Radha Dasim, service of Radha Dasim. It's very far away. No, it's not. Whoever is in their line, empowered by their line, that is how we follow Radha Dasim. Serve them, that is Radha Dasim. Anyhow, you can't serve Radha Dasim directly. You can't become Rupa Manjari. But you can become Rati Manjari's servant of the servant of the servant of the servant. Who is that? The Vaishnavas in this world who follow Radharani and that Guru Parampara. That is your Radha Dasyam. That is your Krishna Dasya. Otherwise, that's why we say Jivan Mukta. You can be liberated in this body. How? Serving those servants of Srimati Radhika in this world. That is liberation. Iha Yasya Harir Dasya Karmana Manasya Gita. How can we offer our body, mind and spirit, everything to God? Follow those who have that love. They will teach you how to offer everything. Then you'll be liberated even in this own body. So that is also Rathyatra. Rathyatra is liberation from samsara. How do you get liberation from samsara? Rathyatra. Following the footsteps of Guru and Vaishnavas who have love for God, who are following Shimati Radhika, that is your liberation. Then 
Anandam buddhivardhanam pratipadam purna amrita swadhanam. At every step, you a taste this nectar. How can you taste it every ne at every step? By following Anugatya, following the footsteps of the Vaishnavas. Following the footsteps of the Brajagopi sadhus, Anuragi sadhus. Brajagopis and sadhus following their footsteps. Then pratipadam purna amrita swadhanam. Otherwise, pratipadam duk asashvalayam. Unbroken suffering. So we're praying today for Ratiyatra to meditate on this, that when we're doing anything, we should understand, try to understand the depth of the practice. Understand these things aren't just like some external festival. These are designed by Radha and Krishna as a way to bring us to them. Why? Jagannath, the Lord of the universe. So Ratiyatra is a festival for the jivas lost in this universe to come to him in that eternal world. Other festivals, not as helpful for the conditioned soul. Ratyacha, most helpful for the conditioned soul. Why? He is Jagannath, Lord of the universe. How do you get out of this suffering and material universe? Follow Ratyacha. Then you go from this world to eternal world. That is Ratyacha. The path of liberation out of samsara. That is Ratyacha. So tomorrow we're doing that very easily. By Seva. Seva nam bhakti ruchate. Following the footsteps of the devotees trying to find God everywhere, going to His garden. Our ashram is His garden. And everywhere we walk around, we're trying to follow the footsteps of His beloved Shimati Radhika, her associates, the Vaishnavas, understand that He is searching after her love, therefore we are also following God's footsteps, Jagannath's footsteps. We're following Jagannath's footsteps and He is searching for Radharani. He is going towards Radharani. Where is she? So therefore we pray to follow sincerely under guidance of Vaishnavas. Vanchakaupadirubhisikripasindadevacha Aditya Nang Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namur Bola Jagannath Deva Ki Jai